Welcome back to Miss Eddie's Math Movies, where it's a cute to be a square. Today's lesson is 11.2, Properties of Tangents. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to use properties of tangents. We're going to talk a lot about tangent segments. Normally, a tangent is a line, but today we're going to talk about a tangent segment, which is part of the tangent line. So instead of it going on forever, it's going to stop. So if this is the circle, here's a tangent segment. Notice it stops. There's not arrows. If a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn at the point of tangency. So here's our tangent line, and here's our point of tangency. If we were to draw the radius, this should be a right angle. If L is tangent to circle C at B, then L is perpendicular to CB. Right? Remember, perpendicular means 90 degrees. In a plane, if a line is perpendicular, to a radius of a circle at its endpoint, then the line has to be tangent. So this is the reverse of this. So this one's saying, if it's tangent, then it's a perpendicular. This says, if it's perpendicular, then it's tangent. A long time ago we talked about this, and the word for that is the converse, when you can flip it around. So these two are converses of each other. The word tangent is based on a Latin word meaning to touch. How does this relate to the definition of tangent? Well, if you remember, tangent means it's a line that touches once. Touches the circle once. AC is tangent to circle B at point C. Find BC. So we're trying to find this length right here. Well, we just learned if a line is tangent to a circle, then it's perpendicular to the radius. BC is a radius. So you know they are perpendicular. a right angle and if we have a right triangle we can use the Pythagorean theorem so here's what our triangle looks like I'm going to redraw it over here so we can get a good visual we've got X we've got a right angle 12 and 13 so I want to find X this is my C value right it's across from the right angle so I'm going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember, c always goes over here by itself. c is the hypotenuse. Now I'm just doing my algebra. Subtract 144 from both sides. x squared equals 25. Now I have to take the square root to get x all by itself x is equal to 5. We have a very similar example here. You're standing at C, which is 8 feet from a grain silo. The distance to a point of tangency is 16. What's the radius? Let's draw this triangle. So this is R. This is 16. How long is this? This is r and 8, so we're going to call this r plus 8. Now we can do the Pythagorean theorem. This is our c value. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 
So this is a little bit of algebra. We need to review this a little bit. 16 squared, we can put in our calculator if we don't know. That's 256. Now, this right here, if you remember from algebra, means r plus 8 times r plus 8. We cannot just square this. No, 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 no. This is what it means. If you remember, your algebra teachers may have used a word FOIL or just distribution. We have to distribute this R and distribute this 8. All right, so here we go. Let's do this. Give us a little more space. R times R is R squared. R times 8 is 8R. Now down here, 8 times R 8r, 8 times 8 is 64, not 16. Now, this is an algebra problem that you can do. What I see, first of all, is that there's an r squared on both sides. So if I subtract r squared from both sides, they're going to cancel. Yay! 256 equals 8r plus 8r plus 64. Well, I can combine my like terms. That's 16 r's. Subtract 64 from both sides. I get 192 equals 16 r. Divide by 16. 192 divided by 16 is 12. And our units here are feet. The radius is approximately 12 feet. So it started with the Pythagorean theorem, and then we had to do some algebra to get to the end. But notice it's still a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You have to remember the algebra here to get the answer right. How can you show that EF must be tangent to circle D? EF. Well, it looks like it, but we have to prove it. We have to prove that this is a right angle. So if it's a right angle, A squared plus B squared is going to equal C squared. So we have to make sure that that's true. So we're going to check. Is 9 squared plus 12 squared, is it equal to, this is a question, 15 squared? because that makes it a right angle, and then it would be tangent. 81 plus 144, does that equal to 225? Let's see, 81 plus 144 is 225. So this is a right triangle, which means, yes, it's tangent. has to make a right angle. So put your right angle in there. We now know it's a right angle. If this were not equal, then it'd be no, and it's not a tangent. If two segments from the same point outside a circle are tangent to the circle, so we've got two segments that are tangent. See how they both touch once? They touch here and here. So they're both tangent, then they are going to be congruent. If SR and ST are tangent, then SR is congruent to ST. They're going to be the same length. So if you look at this example, it says AB is tangent and AD is tangent. So if they're both tangent, they have to be equal to each other. 2x plus 3 has to equal 11. x is equal to 4.
check your answer for example 4. All right, if you remember from we got x equals 4. So we're going to plug that back in and see if we did it right. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Why should AD equal 11? Because AB equals 11. And they're supposed to be the same length. That was AB, yeah? Because AB equals 11. You have the checkpoints. You're going to do these now. This is just like example four. Example four. This is M cubed signing out.